Hello everybody, my name is Brandon Hopkins and I am a Linode Developer Advocate. Today is all about live streaming, specifically creating our very own low latency media streaming server and then connecting it to a streaming service such as YouTube or Twitch. So then technically we will have our very own 24 seven live stream. Now there are a bunch of great use cases for this and probably the one you've run across and by far the most popular is being able to create your very own lo-fi help you study type music stream with content you have the right to stream of course. You might want to keep a stream running on a loop that you were running previously without needing your computer on 24 seven you could be a local TV station, church, or nonprofit that wants their own kind of TV channel, so to speak. Whatever it may be, RTMP is going to be your best friend. Now you may be asking, what is RTMP? This is short for Real Time Messaging Protocol, and it has been the standard of live streaming across the internet for decades. RTMP gives us the ability to transcode audio, video, and data from an encoder to a server with high performance and that low latency. What we're going to be using today is Ant Media. This software is awesome because it acts as both our encoder and RTMP server. So no, you don't need to be streaming through OBS Studio on your computer 24 seven. Once we have Ant Media set up and ready to go, it's just a matter of uploading our media and making the proper connections between our server and the service we want to stream with. And this is our own server, so you don't even technically need to stream with a service as you will have a private stream link and embedded link that you can embed to other web pages and websites if you would like to. So with that, let's go ahead and jump onto the computer and get this set up. So here we are on the computer. First, before we create this, I will know Ant Media has their own website. If you do want to learn a little bit more about the software, they have premium options as well, but for what we're doing, the free option is going to be just fine. And setting this up on the node is easy. We're just gonna head over to the marketplace and then scroll down a little bit here to Ant Media Server Community Edition. Give that a click and then from there we could go ahead and scroll all the way down and all we need to do is go ahead and select our region so i'm going to select the server closer to me this is live streaming so if you do have a specific target audience location try to pick a server as close to that target audience as possible and now let's go shared cpu and the nanode one gig plan is going to be fine for now the node makes it really easy to upgrade later if you do so deem that necessary. I'm going to call this free stream. And then we're going to want to go ahead and give ourselves a pretty decent root password. So from there, you can scroll down, select backups if you do prefer, but I'm going to go ahead and create this Linode as is. And there we go. It says our server is running, but it is going to need to run through the installation script. So we could always open up the Lish console to see where it's at within the process. And when this does prompt us to log in, that's when we'll kind of know our server is ready to go. All right, we look good to go. So now what we're going to do is copy over our IP address into our address bar and go to the port 5080. So to do that, let's just click copy, open up a new tab here, paste in our IP address to our server, and then head over to the port 5080. Here we have the manager for the Ant Media. So let's go ahead and create our first account. I'm going to fill this out real quick. There we go. So let's just go ahead and create our account and then go ahead and log on in. So here we go. This is our Ant Media server. We can see some system statistics, including our CPU load, how much memory it's using, what exactly is going on. You can see we have zero live streams up and running. But what we're going to do now is simply create our very first live stream. So we're going to go over to applications right here and click on live app. And then over here where it says new live stream, we're going to click this little arrow and start a new playlist. So I'm going to create my new playlist name and this is going to be a Linode thing. So I'm going to call this Linode stream and our stream ID will be generated for us. So I'm just going to go ahead and hit create. And there we go. We have our Linode stream. That's our stream ID. We can see it's offline and there's currently no viewers. It will give you those kind of statistics if people are going to connect to your streams directly. And now at this point, we're going to want to go ahead and gather our actual media. Luckily, I have this file right here on my desktop. This is a Linode screensaver. This is the screensaver right here. It's a pretty nice screensaver. And this is actually an example of a use case if you're not streaming and you just want something like this constantly going you want to display some information like the next time you might be live 
this could be an option for you as well. So let's head back over to our web browser and next to live streams, we have VOD or video on demand. This is where we're gonna upload that file. So let's click on upload VOD and then let's give it a name. This is in fact a Linode screen saver and choose our file. Let's grab this from the desktop, click on open and hit save. There we go, it's successfully uploaded. So now what we're gonna to want to grab is our VOID. So if I go ahead and grab this number right here, if I can, there we go, give that a copy. And now what I'm gonna do is make a little custom URL here. I was working on this a minute ago. What you're gonna to want to do is after the port, you're gonna to want to go forward slash live app, that is case sensitive, or forward slash streams. And then after streams, paste in that video on demand ID we just copied and then type in .mp4. MP4 is the preferred format as I've recently found out. So once you do have that, don't go to it. Let's just give it a quick copy. And then from there, we're gonna go over to live streams again. Now let's go ahead and hit this little edit button, add a playlist item, and then paste in that URL we just created. So from there, let's go ahead and hit save. And then we can see the playlist has been updated. And from there, technically we're good to go. Let's go ahead and see if it works. So let's go ahead and on this little actions under the hamburger menu, we can start our broadcast. So you can see the stream is now starting and we can now see it is broadcasting. So if I go ahead and click this little play stream icon, it should bring up a little preview window with hopefully is our little Linode screensaver. And in addition, if I go ahead and copy the embed code, what this will do is give us an entire iframe HTML code so you can embed this into your website. And here is the URL. So if we just want a full screen view of our live stream from our Linode here, here it is live streaming. And you could technically access, there for, access this from anywhere in the world. So I'm gonna go ahead and go back. And then you could see right there, there's one viewer that was me. But what we're gonna do now is try to stream this over to YouTube, somewhere where somebody might actually watch it. And we're gonna be doing this on YouTube. And to do this, we're first going to need to get our stream key. So let's go ahead and hit create and go to go live. Now clicking that doesn't instantly make you go live, it just allows you to prep for it. So if we go up here under stream, you'll see just about everything you need on a YouTube live stream, including right here, this is the stream key. Now I'm going to show it. I have the ability to reset it, but generally you don't want to show this. I'm gonna go ahead and give this a copy. And for now, just like before, I'm gonna use this address bar, paste in that uh, stream key. And we're gonna actually put that at the end of our stream URL. So I'm gonna give that a copy. I'm gonna go in right before it here and paste that in. So if I go control V, add a forward slash, this is our stream URL with our stream key. So I'm gonna go ahead and copy that entire thing. And you can see right there the RTMP protocol is right there in front of this. So with that copied, we're gonna go back over to our Ant Media server here. And then on our live stream, we're gonna hit this hamburger menu again and edit the RTMP endpoints. So if I paste that on in and I hit add endpoint, you can see that endpoint was added successfully. It's listed right there. And now if we head over here, you can see it's been live for five seconds and there it is. I'm gonna hit in stream real quick before that publishes out to everybody. Let's uh, let, let's make sure that this is unlisted. Save that, there we go. Then let's uh, restart that broadcast there real quick and there we go. Now it's unlisted, it shouldn't publish to anybody, so that's good. <laughs> and then right there we see our uh, Linode logo floating about on our screen saver. So we are now live streaming from a instance of Linode straight to YouTube without having to run OBS or anything like that locally. And of course there are more features and a lot more settings and things that you could do with this just under VOID. We could add a lot more content if we'd like to and cycle through various things. This Linode screensaver, since it's the only thing in there, it's just gonna be running on a constant loop. As soon as it fades out, it's gonna fade back and start over again. And with this running, so right now it is live streaming, it's using just about half of our system memory of our one gigabyte nanode. 
and anywhere from zero to 5% CPU load. But if you did have a lot of people connecting directly to your IP address, that's when you may notice a uptick in uh, system resource consumption. Anything we covered in this video will be linked down below for some more information. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel and ring that bell so you do not miss any of the awesome cloud computing videos that will be coming out in the future. And one more reminder, for new accounts, there is that $100 60-day credit down below, so you might as well take advantage of that and maybe set up your very own 24-7 live stream. So with all that, I do hope you have an absolutely beautiful day, and goodbye.